with two months left until 2024, the pace of Starship testing at SpaceX's multiple facilities throughout Texas has increased. SpaceX seems to be testing upgrades to its Raptor 2 engine for the world's most powerful rocket, while at the same time, a new fully stacked test has taken place at the Starship launch pad in Boca Chica, Texas. Footage gathered by local media shows that the fire suppression system, installed earlier this year, was tested at a higher power level to meet the full brunt of the 33 Raptor two-engine firing at launch. Regardless, Starship probably won't be able to do anything other than ground tests as the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service just declared that its regulatory approval process for the second Starship test flight could potentially last until the spring of 2024. What a disaster. Let's find out everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. Before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. SpaceX Starbase is surging. SpaceX's development approach for its Starship program has allowed the firm to have multiple rockets in production and testing simultaneously. The full Starship stack comprises two rockets, the first stage Super Heavy Booster and the second stage Starship spacecraft. One test conducted late last week saw SpaceX fire up a second stage Starship Raptor engine to demonstrate a key capability for NASA's lunar landing system. A couple of days later, SpaceX tested Booster 9 and Ship 25 fully stacked for the first time. The company also fired up its water deluge system more than two months after an initial test. This time, the test featured an extra storage tank and saw more water flow out to match the scale required to protect the launch pad from damage during a Starship launch. This latest launch site fire suppression system test follows a visit by the Fish and Wildlife Service officials to the test site where they spent some time evaluating the areas surrounding Starship's launch pad. Getting approval from the government launch agencies has been a key bottleneck for the Starship program, and SpaceX has spent months waiting for agencies such as the FWS and the FAA to get environmental clearance for launch activities. The FWS evaluation is part of a broader environmental assessment overseen by the FAA, and even though FAA officials were optimistic earlier this year in stating that the second Starship flight could have taken place by November at the very least, chances remain that it get delayed to 2024. In fact, ahead of the hearing before the U.S. Senate Subcommittee on Space and Science, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service shared that its regulatory approval process for the second Starship test flight could potentially last until the spring of 2024. In a statement, AFWS spokesperson said their agency received a final biological assessment from the FAA October 5 and FWS has up to 30 days to review it. This came after the FAA sent FWSA letter in August, which requested reinitiation of Endangered Species Act consultation. Under Section 7 of the Endangered Species Act, Reinitiation of formal consultation is required when a project and its impacts change significantly, the amount of take issued previously is exceeded, we have new information on listed species not previously considered, or a new species is listed. The spokesperson said, Reinitiation involving major changes in effects analysis or changes in the FWSA biological opinion are addressed fully in a new consultation. For SpaceX reinitiation with FAA, we are considering the operation of a water deluge system. That new deluge system was part of a list of 63 corrective actions created as part of the SpaceX-led mishap investigation following the failed launch of the first integrated flight test on April 20, 2023. The system has been used a few times, including on a pair of tests of Booster 9, along with Ship 25 last weekend. However, that license could still be a ways off. Following the 30-day review of the final biological assessment from the FAA, the FWS has 135 days to issue an amended biological opinion. That 135 days is comprised of the formal consultation period, which could last up to 90 days, and the process of crafting its biological opinion, for which it has 45 days. 
A spokesperson for the FAA said the agency will announce whether any environmental mitigations are required for the water deluge system when the environmental review is complete. Citing slow Starship reviews, SpaceX officially told a Senate committee that government regulations are slowing the development of Starship and the commercial human spaceflight industry is at a breaking point in terms of maintaining U.S. leadership in space. Gersten Maia, who spent more than 30 years at NASA, including over a decade as head of its human spaceflight program, stopped short of saying that regulatory delays were the only hurdles to getting Starship ready for Artemis missions. Asked by Sen, Ted Cruz, ranking member of the full committee when it would be ready, Gersten Meyer replied, it's hard to say. We need to fly at the fastest pace. To be fair, we also have huge technical challenges, but they need to fly it to test it and we cannot be held up by regulation. Gersten Meyer called for Congress to double ASET's resources, expand expedited hiring authority for technical experts, and provide guidance that AST's role is only to protect public safety, not ensure success of rocket launches. He also wants AST's Part 450 regulations to be more flexible for projects of national interest, such as Artemis and ensure other agencies involved in the approval process, like environmental agencies, complete their work consistent with national program schedules. I want to state clearly that ASFT is an outstanding and important organization that needs more resources and immediate regulatory direction from Congress, said Bill Gerstenmeyer. SpaceX is vice president of Build and Flight Reliability in his opening remarks. AST's role is critical to enabling safe space transportation, but we're at a breaking point. Licensing, including environmental approval, often takes longer than rocket development. This should never happen, and it's only getting worse, he added. Currently, SpaceX is working through the regulatory review process in order to get a launch license modification for a second test flight of its Starship rocket. However, certain upgrades made since the first launch are still being reviewed by both the FAA and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. In his written statement, Gersten Meyer said that Starship has been ready to fly since mid-September and SpaceX is prepared to conduct the second integrated test flight as soon as the end of this month, but they have to wait until the regulatory process is concluded. In order to successfully execute on its commitments, SpaceX plans to conduct at least two more Starship flights this year, with a higher flight rate in 2024 and beyond, plus an estimated 30 more Falcon flights for various customers, including the U.S. government before the end of the year, he wrote. The test and flight cadence across multiple vehicle families for SpaceX alone is most certainly not possible if Congress does not provide AST with additional resources, direction, and legislative guidance. After a rather thorny Senate hearing that saw SpaceX and other space companies complain to senators that the FAA is unequipped to handle licensing operations due to a lack of manpower, with SpaceX in particular outlining how its Falcon and Starship program often end up being opportunity costs for each other when it comes to approvals. Officials from the FWS also visited the Boca Chica site yesterday as part of what we can only assume can be their approval process for SpaceX's launch site. So hope that they can complete its review in November and Starship can still launch this year? And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high-quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.